little hotel in Ninbin. Uh, we are at the Reed Hotel. Uh, it's fairly new. So we're very excited to see. They already yeah. picked up the suitcases. It looks pretty nice inside. Yeah, Can you believe it? Yeah, I booked it on hotel.com and it's, it was really a reasonable price. Uh, well, I'm, the price has changed according to the season, but for now it's really Yeah, reasonable. it's affordable. Uh, we actually made a boo-boo because I forgot. <laughs> I, I miscalculated our day, so I booked two nights first which is tomorrow and the day after. But I, I missed cafe one day somehow, so I missed the night, which is tonight. So I had to rebook it uh, in a different reservation. But uh, they figured it out and it was really easy. Yeah. And now we're heading up to our room. part of our hotel and now let's give you guys a tour. So first when you enter the bathroom you have a hair dryer next to the mirror you have a, a toilet. <laughs> yeah always um, useful. So you have a shower and a bathtub. Yeah and a window there so I can you know take shower and watch TV at the same time. How about that? Yeah sure. <laughs> you have a safe you do have a safe right here Beautiful. And uh, we also have uh, bathrobes for the spa and ironing board here. Uh, they do have a spa here on the, I think, fourth floor or third floor. Really? Uh, we have a coupon for 15 minutes of like pink stone sauna, whatever that is. We'll figure it out later. Um, so, uh, drawers. There's a mini fridge I've seen here stocked with Red Bull. Hello, somebody's favorite. Beer <laughs> and there's uh, Pepsi and water. Uh, we have a king size bed here and I think a balcony. Oh, okay, that's cute. You want to come up? Oh, that looks beautiful. Wow. Wow, it's a big garden. Look yeah, at this. Yeah, we have a home garden. It's like home. At home in a condo, we actually do have a terrace like this with green, so it definitely feels like home. So guys, it's been a long day of traveling, so we're gonna rest today. Uh, we meet you guys tomorrow, but for you it will be like two seconds. <laughs> so uh, we'll go out, grab something to eat, and we meet you in two seconds. And two seconds later, <laughs> major change in the decoration behind us. It's actually the next morning, we had uh, some breakfast at the hotel, and now we are at Chan Grottos, um, or in Vietnamese. Uh, Chang'an. Chang'an <laughs> <laughs> Because it technically is written Chang'an and he keeps saying Chang'an uh, It's really hard for me to read, you know, I, yeah, I'm a bad Vietnamese I came at the age of six, so you know, I have the reading techniques of a six years old kid So, uh, yeah, we're in the, uh, the, this park here, we're gonna go buy some tickets and show you guys around It's a group of four on the boat, so we've been paired with two other person. We're gonna visit the route number three. It's very hectic, <laughs> like people are rushing to the boat. They have to match you with the, the couple that choose the same route as you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, guys, so we arrive at the first stop. There are three temples to visit here and some other caves. So this is the first temple. Um, sorry, I really sucked at name, so I'm going to try to find it. Oh, I had it. I have this. Oh, it's a Ching temple. Okay, before we run out of light, this is the first cave. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh my uh -oh. god, watch your head. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Guys, this cave, it's about one kilometer long and what we're doing right now, it's we're crossing under a mountain. Like the limestone, we're under it. Ooh, oh my God. <laughs> I was filming up above me. I didn't see the rock, I almost lose my camera. Yeah, it's a giant one. Jay, do you want to explain how those stalactites are created? It's calcium and water drops, basically. So and careful. Oh my God. <laughs> You didn't have to do any morning yoga exercise, you do it here. Yeah. Stretching and everything. Okay. And we're out guys. One down, two to go. Okay, it's so two more caves. how about the next temple? We try to visit it instead of feeding the fish. You're the one who's holding the sock, <laughs> kid. I was feeding the fish. Do I want to go buy fish food? <laughs> This is the perfect way to use a GoPro. <laughs> you attach it to the boat. <laughs> No, you don't understand. From what I read, these are the two gods. This one, it's rewarding you from your good action when you behave good. And this one that looks mad, like you said, he uh, will punish you if you do wrong. But the thing is, they are both good gods, if you can see it that way. I don't like mad people, okay? Just be nice. Come. We're back on the shore. Yay! <laughs> that was so nice. Yeah, you like now, that? Now I think maybe I should have taken one because yeah. I think the only thing that I found underwhelming was the King Kong set. So at one we would have seen more like nature stuff. And yeah, then, but the first cave was so yeah, impressive. And all the nature, nature things are really beautiful here. And the King Kong set is really just, you know, a few props and they made a few local people dress as the indigents in the movie. So, you know. I feel like the nature here just took over human and that's what's, it, wow, that's why it's so impressive here. here. Just the tree over here. So nice. Okay guys, so we're leaving this place. Sorry for the camera shake. <laughs> it's not a really flat ground. Hi ma'am. Yeah. What you Morning. Yeah. We are at our second stop of the day. Yes. We're at Hualu Temple. Yeah, we're doing cultural stuff now. <laughs> So uh, this used to be the capital of uh, the first uh, feudal uh, monarch monarchy in Vietnam uh, for 42 years. Uh, so the king used to live there. Let's go check it out. The dragon bed is a national treasure. Actually, in this temple, they're the only two um, dragon bed that are actually an ornamentation in the uh, old Vietnamese Chinese times uh, in the imperial court. And they are only uh, there, there are two here that dated from like a millennia ago, like the 10th century. So that's like a thousand years old. <laughs> and see how Vietnamese people <laughs> don't even put it in a glass or anything; <laughs> just yeah. let it. 
go there, anybody could touch it. I feel like Vietnamese people, even I'm Vietnamese, have the attitude of, you know, just let it be. If it survive, it's good. You're very easy yeah. going, let's yeah. say. I know in China, there will be like, you'll be encased in like bulletproof glass. Yeah, or in Canada, you know, like for a hundred years piece of, uh, you know. Whatever, um, yeah, yeah, they do, they protect it a lot better. That's like a thousand year old. And there are two, there's one here and one at the entrance. Yeah, that are not guard anything. So we told you guys about the first dragon bed. Here it is. And this one has a, a red it's, rope. Yeah, it's quartered <laughs> off at least. So people, I feel it's because there's no guard here and nobody that works there. And I totally feel Vietnamese will sit there and smoke their cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. But not like, just Vietnamese, like a lot of tourists as well. But uh, <laughs> yeah. so that's why they had to court it off, I guess. But that's all my supposition. And now we're heading across the lake to the other temple here. Look at the flowers. It looks like plastic. What kind of flowers is that? I don't know, it come from this tree. So before they used to not walk the king and the queen and the concubine. So it's like the car. It's too yeah, it's too much work. So there are four people on each side that carry this and they carry them around. This is the most rewarding Cheers. stuff. Cheers. It's so hot. I know it doesn't look like it because it's so gray, but it's so hot today. So like whenever there's a little bit of wind, I'm like, oh my God, mm -hmm. so, so thirsty. We're heading to our third stop. Yes, we're going to buy Ding Pagoda, mm -hmm. uh, which is a really pretty pagoda tower. I can't wait. By the way guys, since we move a lot around here, we rent a scooter. We'll put down the link in the description box where you can rent the scooter. Yeah, I found the address uh, where you can rent one and it costs us 350 uh, thousand dong for the three days we are having it. And it's fairly, it's a fair price. Yeah, yeah, and it's a like fair price. we like the service, the guy is really nice. So I'm gonna put the address down below for you guys. So we arrive at Biden Pagoda and- it looks so, so pretty. Yeah, it's one of the spots not to miss if you happen to be in Ninbin. And in the meantime, we feel like the vlog's getting a bit too long. Yeah, so we, we have way too much content for this vlog. Yeah, so we're gonna cut it here and meet you guys in the second one. In the meantime, I think... What's the Vietnamese world for the day? Don't forget, you have to teach <laughs> yeah, them yeah, yeah, one yeah. Vietnamese okay, okay, world okay. per day. So the words of today would be Kamung. Kamung means uh, thank you. Kamung. And if you want to add New Lam means very much. So, Kamong New Lam for watching this vlog. As usual, if you want to support us, please click on the thumbs up button, leave us a comment below. We ship out a random postcard to people that comment that they do want one from Vietnam. And uh, you can also suggest what you want him to teach you in Vietnamese. And we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Actually, not tomorrow, in two minutes. <laughs>